M0FXB, new firmware has been released for the Yaesu FTM150. John Crook from Yaesu has made a podcast, so I will link that in the description. We've got the firmware update information just here on the right-hand side. And if you're not familiar with the radio, it's the dual band VHF UHF radio that has crossband, also many other features, one being the new Super DX fun function. So of course I'll be making videos installing this, but right now let's just have a quick look at what it says. It says auto ASP mode, one touch switching between ASP and Super SDX, uh, Super DX. ASP Auto manual modes are now available. By turning on ASP Auto mode, ASP will be automatically turned on stroke off depending on your signal strength. The ASP noise cancellation shall be automatically activated only when a weak signal is detected. In manual mode, Super DX and ASP can be manually switched on and off each time the SDX key is pressed briefly. So it's like an auto you know, I get it. So you're driving along and there's a weak signal. You don't want to keep pressing that button. And so you've got some automated settings there. It also says switchable between frequency display and name tag display on the PMG screens and scope screen. So you're seeing here that this radio has PMG and it has a scope as well. Very similar to the FTM 500. Uh, so for memory channels with name tags, the frequency display and the tag display are switchable on the PMG screen. You can switch between them by briefly pressing the and pressing the right dial knob on the screen on the scope screen by briefly pressing the dial knob with the scope fun when the scope function is activated tag frequency displays are switchable. I know it's a it's quite a mouthful. I'm not great at reading reading manuals. I can glance at them normally. But anyway, at the bottom here, bar graph of the received signal history on PMG screen. The bar graph shows the history of received signals disappears smoothly about two seconds after the received signal is no longer detected. Right, excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to see Yesu are always uh, updating their products. I've got a feeling if, if, if this isn't already in the Yesu FT510, it will be. I haven't got one. I've got the 500. They have the usual line at the bottom. Other functions have been improved and optimized. So that's always welcome. It's always a bit mysterious when they say that. To check which firmware you have, press and hold the F back key. Rotate the dial to menu selection 60. Press the, the right dial knob and then you see your firmware. But as far as I know, isn't this the first firmware update? Please enlighten me. So of course, if you go to the Yesu section, watch the you know the podcast as well. Go to the Yesu section. You're going to get all the files you need, including the instructions. And at the bottom here, we've got the we've got the ADMS programming software. So I will be having a go at that as well. And firmware upgrade manual, and then above the actual firmware update, which I can't do because the radio is not here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We're still learning, so I'm just going to click the zip at the top. Like so, double click, and let's just see what we've got two files in there one for the sub, one for the main, and then above that, double clicking that folder, we have the upgrade manual. Looks nice and easy. Looks like you're going to write, you know, put the files onto your seed SD card, pop them into the radio. Clearly shows you again how to look up which version of firmware you've got. S star preparation preparation. So you need to format the card first if you've never done this before, and then I would say save to it. Formatting a card. A micro SD memory card that was used in another device may not function properly. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, press and hold the F back key. It basically shows you on menu 49 to format it. That's quite easy. Downloading the firmware, we just did that. And you want to copy the files, the main and the sub. You want to copy, it says here, copy the firmware files to this location. So it's showing it. You've got the FTM150 folder. And then within that, look, you've got the backup and you've also got the... So make sure you copy it in there so that when you do put it into the radio, it sees it. So you turn off the transceiver, put that in. 
uh, press and hold the SDX key and the power switch to turn on the transceiver and it, you get this update screen and I will be doing a video on this it sees the you know it see it sees the files if you've put them in the right place if you haven't don't worry just do it again and you just got to move them around and um see i might be able to might have oh, no i can't do it because i haven't got the radio so the firmware version in the ftm 150r and micro sd memory card are displayed and then rotate the dial to the left click update and it's done now we do need to up it's according to this we do need to reset the transceiver so i should have said right at the beginning you need to back, make a backup um of everything all your memories all that kind of stuff da 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 and rotate the dial knob to select factory reset rotate which is menu 62 press the right dial knob factory reset that's it so and after that you can reload your memory i will have a little i'm going to download the the new adms software let me have a look at it scroll down in the file section programming instructions for the software and underneath that the actual software i can't actually remember if i made a video of this uh probably did know me but anyway there's the software we'll double click and set up yes read the man i would read the manual there it goes yes look modify is there so i'm going to go just i'm going to go repair next install yes finish let's see if i can find it all i do is go into my little search and start to type a d m s and there it is there there you go looks looks quite basic doesn't it really i would say so VFOA, VFOB, home channel, home channel B, communications, send data. Oh, look, so it looks like you can use a cable and you can use an SD card. That's that's very handy because I think it's a lot easier with an SD card. Um, so if we say send data, is it going to? No, I can't do it now. So I'm going to have to, um, you know, hook it up to the to my FTM 150 and videos to follow. And there's a summary here of all its features and functions just here. There's also an advanced manual, which I have not looked at. So the, the color is orange that we're seeing advertised, but you've got that sort of white with uh, with black writing as well. Digital squelch. I'm just literally scrolling through this DTMF. Connecting an external device, connecting to a computer, packet communications firmware we've got the band scope backlight color is 23 so i wonder how many colors that is but tx power 55 and 50 they're advertising it at yes we said it earlier cross band you've got speakers in the head unit and the front unit that's like the ftm 5100 and 500 dtmf scan data band data speed sd card option bluetooth so you have to pay extra for your bluetooth module unfortunately i probably got one available so i might be able to test it as long as it's the same as the one i've got i will do that pop it in there have a little play I don't really i don't use bluetooth um but you know i'll have a little play swap them around i think i've got a module in my i don't know if it's the same in my 500 and my 200 so fingers crossed it's the same what i'm looking at the accessories um there you go selecting the squelch type so i'm just looking to see if there was aprs to be honest uh, someone let me know if there is memories pmg memory grouping is a new feature isn't it weather functions <clears throat> DTMF, of course. Copying from one radio to another. Connecting an external device. Data cable. SCU. I've got an SCU 50, 58. I'm pretty sure yeah, I've got one of them. Yeah. 
Um, packet. So you talk about packet, TNC, good for win link, that kind of stuff. And the firmware. Setup. It's a lot, you know, get if you're bored, just end the video. Config. Repeater shifts. Of course, you can add your repeaters in there. Scan data, SD card, clone, keypad, band scope. Choosing your different meters. Here's the colors. Six backlight colors. Rotate the dial knob to select the desired color. Amber and white. Mm. Press the right dial. Is it menu six? It's menu six, I think, and then it's rotate the dial to select the color, which is the the orange or the white. I, I would say it's two colors, yeah. So I got a bit confused on another video on that. TX power fifty five on two meters, fifty on seventy. Mic gain, timeout, out. FM broadcast radio, maybe. I would say probably PMG beeps band skip repeater ARS uh, repeater shift zoom in through now it's going to be lots of scanning functions dual receive mode data band backup I mean, normally if there is APRS, they do an APRS manual, don't they? So let's have a quick look. Files, and then we'll end the video. So we're waffling a bit now. So let's have a look here. Front catalog, advanced manual, operator manual, update information. Yeah, so I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing APRS at the moment. No, according to a Google search, it has not. Bye for now. Seven.